Ciao friends and welcome to The Whiteboard. This episode is dedicated to regular and limited relationships. We will see how these concepts affect the results in your reports and uh, even though the performances are another aspect of uh, the difference between these two types of relationships, we will not cover that. The Whiteboard is a series where we provide a different perspective on abstract concepts we have in tabular modeling and DAX, and it is intended to be an additional element for training other than uh, the existing articles, books, and video courses we already have. So this time we will focus on what happens, what happens to your reports depending on the type of relationship you have, what is a regular and limited relationships and which impact they can have on the result of your reports. So let's go to the whiteboard. So let's analyze a model that has regular relationships. This is the classical model uh, Contoso that we used in several of our demos. And in this case, all of the relationships we have in the model are regular relationships. You can figure out that these are regular relationships because uh, there is no um, there is no distance between uh, the asterisk, the star, and the one symbol in the relationship. There is a continuous line or a dotted line without any empty space. And we will see that in the case of the limited relationship, we have a different graphical representation of the, of the relationship in the Power BI user interface. But what is more important is that from a, a reporting point of view, what happens when we have an invalid relationship with a regular relationship. So in other words, what happens if we have data on the many side of the relationship that don't have a match on the one side of the relationship? As you see, in this case, we have 50% uh, of the customers, more or less, that don't have a match in the customer table. So we have the customer key in the sales table. We don't have a corresponding customer in the customer table. And the amount of sales for all these unknown customers is grouped into this uh, blank row. The grand total has all the sales, uh, but this blank row shows uh, what is uh, missing in the customer table in, in terms of uh, details about the country, the city, the occupation, and whatever other attribute the customer can have. Now, we have a different uh, version of this model where we use the limited relationships. So let's go to this version of the model, you see that the result is slightly different, but let's start on investigating the, um, the diagram. So what is the difference here? While we obtained a few tables, date, sales, and store from a data source, we are importing customer and product from another data source, and we are using direct query. So by using direct query, we have, uh, depending on the color that you see, the color represents the tables coming from the same data source. And when you're using a composite model, a model that has in direct query mode tables coming from different data sources, each color defines a data island that identifies a group of tables coming from the same data source. Now, as you see, the customer and the product table are two tables with a dark blue and we have a lighter blue, almost an azure color for day, store, and sales, which come from another, uh, from another data source. And when we look at the relationships connecting tables that come from different data sources, even though these relationships are one to many, you see that there is a gap between the star or the one symbol and the rest of the line. This gap identifies the condition of the limited relationship. A limited relationship loses a few features that we have in a regular relationship. In a regular relationship, what happens when we have sales that have no corresponding customers? Well, what happens is that we have seen in the previous uh, report, we have a blank row that groups all the customers that don't have a valid customer in the customer table. In this case, we have exactly the same data. We just have two different data sources for these tables and the result is different. You can notice here that we don't have a blank row. So let's move to the whiteboard where I copied the two results for the regular uh, relationships. We have the blank row here, 
and for the limited relationship where the numbers we have for every country are absolutely identical. Because remember, the content of the sales table is the same. However, the transactions that exist in the sales table and that contribute to the total that you see that is identical in the two versions, those transactions that don't have a valid customer simply disappears when we use the limited relationship. So when we are using the limited relationship condition, uh, when we drill down into the data using an attribute of a table on the one side of a limited relationship, well, we simply don't see any data attached to it. But when we remove that filter, like it is the case in the total, the grand total is not filtering by customer country and by no filtering by customer country, the customer table is not involved in the calculation and the sales table is uh, grouped considering all the, all the rows, also those that have an invalid customer. And so you see that the biggest difference is that the, the grand total is identical, is 12 million in, two, in, in the two cases, but the, the difference that we have in the two uh, reports is that the blank row disappears when we have a limited relationship. So the idea, if I can draw this uh, in a different way, so whenever we have two tables, like in this case, we have the customer and the sales table, we have the one side and the many side, and these two tables belong to the same uh, data source in direct query mode, it is fine. The behavior is like when you import these tables. When the tables are imported, the tables are always using a regular relationship uh, in a one-to-many relationship. But when we have two different data sets, so we have this table coming from one SQL server, for example, and this table, SQL here, and the second table comes from another uh, database, for example, a MySQL or another instance of uh, SQL Server, but let's say that we have a completely different database. At this point, it's not possible to join the two tables into the same uh, data source through the same engine. And this join is made by the formula engine in uh, the DAX engine, the tabular engine. And this join basically produces the behavior that we have seen before. So the grand total will show all the rows in the sales table. So Everything we have in the sales table is entirely computed in grand total. But if we imagine that the customer table is producing, let's, let's color this uh, with this red, only this part of the sales table corresponds to existing customers in the customer table, the other part, the missing part in this area, will disappear when we try to drill down at the customer level because we will see only the customers that actually exist in the customer table so only the customer that exists will be part of the report but we will never have an additional blank row so in other words if you remember what we have seen for the one-to-many relationships when we have two tables customer and sales and we define a one-to-many relationship, we said whenever we have an invalid relationship, the invalid relationship creates an additional blank row in the customer table if and only if at least one row in the sales table references a, a customer that doesn't exist. So let's say that we have, if we have here from 1 to 100, Whenever we have one, 100, it works. When we have 105, which doesn't exist, this 105 will be joined to the blank row. But if all the values in the sales table exist in the customer table, this condition will not happen. Now, the big difference is that when we have a limited relationship, in a limited relationship, this condition will never happen. This blank row will never be added, which means that the one of five customer will be never part of any report where we see the detail of the customer, but the one of five will be computed in the grand total for uh, all the customers. And this is exactly the behavior we observed. If I go back to this uh, 
uh, initial example, this is the, what we have observed as a difference between the regular and the limited relationship. It mainly affects the data model. Of course, there is also an impact in performance, but this is not the focus for uh, understanding this concept. The more important thing to realize is that we have different results in our reports. So we have seen that regular and limited relationships affect the way you obtain the reports when uh, you drill down into the detail of a table that is connected through a limited relationship. The limited relationships affect uh, the one-to-many relationships connected in different uh, data islands when you have a composite model, but there are other kinds of relationships like the many-to-many -many, uh, cardinality relationship in Power BI that could have the same behavior even though you use them for imported tables, but we will see this in another video. I hope that you enjoyed this one today and uh, I look forward to seeing you in uh, the next video of the series The Whiteboard and as always, enjoy DAX!